When you first walk into a space like this, you'll realize that it's very clean and attractive and it's a, it's a beautiful work environment. But what's going on sort of behind the scenes, in the light fixtures and in the controls, is really a digital network working to make sure everything works in harmony. I'm Kaylin Rothhaus, and that's me and my first building project and my first power lunch. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a designer. And now here I am creating functional and fabulous spaces. This is my client, Mark Alfieri, founder and chairman of Brandstar. And that's Carmen, his chief operating officer. They've asked me to take this building and turn it into a modern and efficient workspace. It's going to be a challenge, but in the end, the new space will be functional, and of course, it will most definitely be fabulous. The new building Mark's purchased for his company, Brandstar, has its challenges. He needs to move 135 employees out of the old building that was 20,000 square feet into the new building that's only 11,000 square feet and keep everyone in the new smaller space comfortable and more productive. At the moment, we are 30 days into construction. The building we're renovating needed to be totally gutted. I wanted to retain the original concrete slab, but it was damaged so it all needed to be treated. We added a decorative overlay of Supercrete to the bathroom walls. Part of my design concept is to create an open, collaborative workspace, so I've added glass partitions from Carvart that are both functional and also add a fabulous look to the space. LaCava created all the custom vanities in the bathrooms, and Cardine Design Flooring completed the luxury vinyl tile throughout the workspace. Everything seems to be going well, but I'm still worried about the construction deadline. Our contractor is saying that it's going to take 120 days to complete the job. But my client, Mark, the owner, needs the building completed in 90 days. At the moment, I'm about a week behind, and that week means everything to my deadline. I'm not sure how we're going to make up time, but we need to get things moving. Now, with all the construction issues and all these moving parts happening at the same time, it's always important to keep thinking about the big picture. We're moving 20,000 square feet and a large number of employees into a much smaller workspace. But the end result needs to be more productivity, a comfortable work environment, and happy employees. Building owner Mark Alfieri shares my vision, and he couldn't agree with me more. What I visualize for the space is to have an open, collaborative work environment, but really a space that feels like home because we spend more time at work than we do in any other environment. So I want people that come to work to feel really comfortable in the everyday uh, job that they do. Now the right design for lighting will be a big part of that vision. So that's what we're doing today, designing perfect lighting for a collaborative workspace. I think lighting as part of the vision is, is really, really important because it sets the ambiance for the space. It really creates the feeling in the environment. And so having the proper lighting to do the work is important. But first things first, it all starts with the ceiling grid because that's where the light fixtures are hung and the sound issues are addressed. So in designing this ceiling, my thought was noise reduction first and then how do I light this space? I definitely want to use LED linear light fixtures for uniform brightness and energy savings, as well as fun elements of design like decorative cloud formations and drop ceilings to address sound and aesthetics. The employees who will be working here are coming from a space which was poorly lit with fluorescent lighting. So I think bringing in a lot of daylight and mixing that with LED and more efficient lighting systems will make for more productive employees. I met with Sean Brown from Armstrong today, their principal scientist. He put me at ease for the design decisions I've already made. It's really a kind of situation where form meets function in such a beautiful way because I really wanted to utilize these Armstrong decorative products. At Armstrong, we work closely with architectural leaders, designers, facility managers, building owners, occupants, all people that touch the, the built environment. So we're constantly hearing about design challenges. So uh, if an architect says that they have a need for a certain type of lighting integration, then we will turn that into product development for our ceiling tile products, our suspension systems. We have suspension systems that allow for easy lighting integration. We have cloud construction that comes in a kit. You can't see the hanger wires. It literally looks like a suspended uh, absorptive ceiling cloud. After talking with Sean, we're going to go with Armstrong's Tech Zone ceiling. It will allow us to integrate the lighting as well as all the other elements we're going to need for the building. With the Armstrong ceilings underway, 
I'm now ready to turn to the specific challenge that awaits us in lighting. The people I've found to help me bring state-of-the-art products that definitely shed light on the challenge. For now, we are turning our attention to the interior building lights. My challenge is to create lighting within the building that will improve both the quality of the workspace and be energy efficient. One of the biggest challenges presented to me by my client was that he needs to fit 54 employees into one bullpen area. To properly light that space is a challenge. So, you know, it's, it's, I really need to find the right product to light the space properly. There's a lot to consider and I wanted to bring in the right people with the expertise to make sure I was creating an environment that will not only be well lit, but will promote productivity. So I've brought in lighting designer Alejandro Vargas from Miami Lighting Design and Associates and Tom Schumacher from Acuity Brands Lighting so that I can outline the design concept and the lighting challenges. I have a couple areas that I want to talk to you guys about. We have the bullpen area, which is going to seat 54 employees in cubicles. Mm -hmm. I also have private offices. Each office has a window, so there is a lot of natural daylight that comes in. The offices have glass fronts to allow that natural daylight to come into the bullpen, but these bullpen areas are gonna be a little bit darker. So we need to address and be careful about how we like these spaces so employees can have a more efficient and productive workspace. Right. The other area of concern for me are these meeting, meeting areas and, and boardrooms. In these spaces, you know, they're a little bit more formal. We'll have clients from, you know, other companies coming to see us. And so these spaces we need to light and make sure that they don't interfere with our technology. Right. We have a lot of projection screens um, and things that could interfere with, the light could interfere right. with the technology. When I saw Kato's design, it was a completely open ceiling. And uh, she had the ideas of putting this uh, drop square ceiling in the different areas of the open office areas. So we have to work around the lighting around those, those ceilings, those drop areas. When you have challenges like this, it brings you unique designs. The product that we're gonna recommend, that I recommend, is gonna be from Mark Architectural. It's a slot fixture. It's designed to go into many Armstrong ceilings, including the tech zone ceiling that you have uh, on this project. I needed a light fixture that worked with the ceiling grid. It needed to be linear, LED, and of course, energy efficient. So seeing how the grid application worked with the light fixture from Acuity Brands, I could see it was a match made for a designer. So this is an LED linear fixture that sits inside of our grid system? Yes, it's all LED. And I mean, we have a couple different areas, like in our flex space here, which is gonna be our social digital room. We have a, sort of a different, flexible, modular, movable seating arrangement for these employees. So what do you suggest for these areas? Well, in these open areas, there's a, a recess round product called the Magellan, and that's also from Mark Lighting. It's, it's available in LED as well. The advantage that we have is that it's a round fixture, so it kind of gives the impression that you have a skylight in there and you're letting the outside light in, and we can control the intensity depending on what type of functions that you're trying to, to uh, hold in that room. Okay, very cool. And what about, what kind of options do you have for the coves? Because Alejandro's talking about changing the lighting mechanism in the corridor. The cove would be something similar to the other products. In, in fact, you know, going LED, you don't want maintenance, you don't want to change light bulbs mm -hmm. into that cove, it'll be very difficult. So we want to put a high efficiency, high performance LED cove fixture that's going to give you some ambient light and indirect light in there, again addressing non-glare and a path of walkway for people to navigate their environment. Three different lighting requirements for three different areas. I'm really happy with the plan we've come up with. Now, if we can get everything installed without any hitches, I will be completely satisfied. These products here will dim down to zero, dim to dark, and it provides you another layer of saving energy for your customers. satisfying when multiple pieces of this puzzle come together like the contractors with wiring.com are now working with acuity light fixtures and the Armstrong grid ceilings coming together and it's fun to see all the different disciplines working together and making everything a reality. What we have going in here in the executive offices is the Armstrong system, the ceiling grid system which is made specifically for the acuity lights that are going in here. You have these eight foot long T's and these 22 inch T's that create a four inch by eight foot uh, slot for the lights to, to come down into. 
and it's a, a great system, you know, I guess devised by uh, Acuity and Armstrong to accommodate the, the lights. Uh, it's an awesome system. It's got a custom finish to it, and it's the first I've seen of it. It's uh, really nice. Yeah, this system will be throughout the building, and in your larger bullpen areas, you have your 12-foot high ceiling grid, and then the clouds will drop below to help with the acoustics and sound deadening. And again, the Acuity lights are throughout, and uh, it's a, a great system they have going in here. I think the Acuity products, especially the Mark Lighting fixtures, actually enhanced my vision for the space. It made it so much more beautiful and clean. And the way that these fixtures attach to the ceiling, it's just beautiful and seamless. Now, the Wausau windows that we've installed have helped a lot in keeping our perimeter office spaces cool and filled with natural daylight. But these high-tech gadgets in the Acuity brand's LED lighting fixtures include cutting-edge technology known as daylight harvesting, which basically means a sensor measures the amount of daylight coming into the space and automatically adjusts itself. So it's an energy-efficient way to keep the proper amount of light in a space so that workers can be productive. These products here will dim down to zero, dim to dark is what we call it, mm -hmm. and allow a lot of flexibility and in also incorporating daylight harvesting, which was something else that you talked about, with a lot of windows in, uh, on these office areas here. So the daylight harvesting is, is, is kind of a set it and forget it, and it provides you another layer of saving energy for your customer. So because energy efficiency is so important, tell me a little bit about these daylight harvesting sensors. So basically what we want to do is we want to bring in the natural light. And we want the natural light to be able to control the amount of light so we don't have too much glare. I don't need my, my LED light fixtures being on full power and full brightness when I have a lot of daylight coming through the windows. We've matched all of our chips and all the different products. So from fixture to fixture, from family to family, they're all going to be identical in the color temp. And that's going to be really important as you start walking through the space and you want the productivity from your employees mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that we're capitalizing on saving energy without having to do anything. It's going to be all automatic. Nobody has to touch anything for that. When we went to Acuity and looked at all the options that they had for lighting, I was blown away by the, the, the fact that they, they, they do things that I would never even think about. Uh, from the daylight harvesting as an example, where uh, as the light gets brighter during the day, the lights automatically adjust to account for that light. And when it gets darker, if you have a, happen to have a rainy day, then all of a sudden the lights come up to try and create that uniform environment, which was really neat. I never thought that something like that existed. Audi Cash from Acuity Brands Lighting also paid us a visit and gave a lot of good insight into how this whole lighting system really works. When you first walk into a space like this, you'll realize that it's very clean and attractive and it's a, it's a beautiful work environment. But what's going on sort of behind the scenes in the light fixtures and in the controls is really a digital network working to make sure everything works in harmony. Throughout the space, there are a myriad of controls used. We have occupancy sensors to detect people in motion. We have daylight sensors to t detect available sunlight as the, as the sunlight increases, the lights will dim, and manual controls on the wall to allow occupants to dim and control the lights as they see fit. We said that this was going to be a high-tech building, and it starts from the top down. We've only started to install the technology that I've designed for the building. Having a light shelf with a roller shade integrated built into one system um, is very unique. It doesn't exist anywhere else. that you can actually predict how happy people are going to be in a workspace by the amount of sunlight they get. If you are near a window, it seems you're going to be happier, more engaged, and in the end, more productive. In designing this building, I've taken a great deal of care to try to get the lighting right, both with the fixtures we've installed and by utilizing, whenever possible, the natural lighting from the windows. We have 31 windows throughout the building, that includes the private offices around the exterior of the building and the small conference rooms. I needed to find shades that would block the glare for employees, but at the same time, I didn't want to lose the daylight harvesting. That's when I found a company called Indoor Sky. They suggested to me a simple and innovative window treatment that would provide shade and still let us have the energy-saving daylight harvesting. The heart of their system is a light shelf that's designed to extend daylight deeper into the building. In other words, these shades maximize the amount of daylight within the space 
while still blocking the sun's glare on the occupant. We are working with Matt Moulton from Indoor Sky. Matt spent an afternoon with us installing the new office shades. Having a light shelf with a roller shade um, integrated, built into one system um, is very unique. It doesn't exist anywhere else. Um, so you have the shading and daylighting um, aspect in one system. This system is very much like everything we've installed in our renovation. It's all about comfort and individual option for the employees. People like to have control over their environment, over the, the heat and the amount of light that they have. So with our system, if, if there's too much light coming in, they can close the roller shade. Um, they can also close the light shelf to, to darken the room. And then if they want to open it up and have lots of daylight, they can pull up the roller shades and open the light shelf and really, really bring in that daylight. In researching all of this, I found that the idea of light shelves was not new. They've been around for years. Now, with Indoor Sky's system, we are using the light shelves effectively for daylight harvesting. So, Kaylin's design um, incorporated beautiful new windows um, to, to really maximize the daylight, which is wonderful, but daylight comes with some negative side effects. You have heat and glare, which can be very troublesome. So, with our system, you take away that glare and the heat, and you maximize that daylight at the same time. So we're shading the occupants and, and harvesting the daylight at the same time. The high-tech equipment we're installing here will no doubt give Mark a much more effective workforce. For me, the unsung heroes behind the installation of all this technology is John Kolodny and his team from Wiring.com. They were the first on the scene, and they will be the last to leave. We could not have installed all of the lighting without them. So the design challenges that we're seeing today and into the near future are really based upon the principles of reduced cost, both from an initial installation standpoint and long-term operating cost. The ability to have a much better work environment, and again, a better work environment is a more productive work environment, and to go green, whether it's for lead certification points or just to help the earth out in general. Being a production company, lighting plays a critical role in our, uh, the filming of our productions. But I never thought that lighting would play such a large role in our office environment. We are at that stage of construction when everything we do is very visible and really making a visible difference. We're starting to see how all the design is starting to come together. The Armstrong ceiling suspension system is installed throughout the building along with all the Acuity Brands lighting. We turn the lights on and they look fantastic. The Acuity Brands lighting LED linears in the bullpen area and the office spaces are really going to make a difference for the employees. Being a production company, lighting plays a critical role in our, uh, the filming of our productions. But I never thought that lighting would pl play such a large role in our office environment. And with Acuity Lighting, the, the, the unbelievable technology, the cutting edge technology that they have in their lights, and the look and feel of the lights in the office environment was something I never expected to achieve. We expect to achieve it on the set, but not in the office, and they really uh, went well beyond our expectations. I have to admit it was a complicated process. It took a lot of coordination, a lot of communication, and a lot of site meetings between me, Armstrong, Acuity Brands Lighting, and Wiring.com. But I think the end result looks really clean, really modern, and the aesthetic lines are perfect. You know when people walk into a space and it just feels good and they don't know why? That's because of great design. And I think this ceiling just feels good and it does so many other things than just look good. It creates symmetry, it provides intelligent lighting, and it saves energy. Now it's time to move on and get to the next phase of construction. We're going to start painting the offices and adding the furniture. Just as lighting is important for everyone, so is the style of the office furniture they'll use. Productivity and comfort for employees extends beyond the brick and mortar. At each step along the way, we make a little more progress in getting all of Mark's employees in here on time. At least, that's what I'm planning for.